Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Andy. Welcome to the show. This episode is about the Black Bay 41 in black, monochrome Black Bay 41, which I predicted a year ago, and I said that I'm going, I was going to buy that one and get rid of my Rolex Submariner. So here are my thoughts on the Black Bay 41, because guys, this is the Tudor Submariner. I present to you the Tudor Submariner. So I got to, you know, see this watch on the metal, in the metal, and, and I saw what I was prepared to see. Like, I cannot explain how much this watch looks like the Rolex Submariner. So you can actually, this is the most, you know, most Rolex Tudor there is. Like, you can actually, from afar, say that is a Rolex Submariner. That is a Rolex Submariner. I had that watch on my hands and it feels exactly the same as a Rolex Submariner. Maybe just a little bit thicker, but it just gives you that vibe very, very accurate incredibly cool and i know that i said that the pelagos 39 was something and, and like that like a vintage submariner but that has a different a very different design language from the rolex submariner so this this black bay 41 right now is just the the best you can you know, dip your toe into a Rolex Submariner. If you don't have the budget to buy a Rolex Submariner, or maybe you don't want a Rolex Submariner because you don't like the shininess. Now, with this being said, this watch has a sunburst dial, and it's kind of like the sunburst dial of the uh, Pelagos 39. But what I like about the Pelagos 39 is that it has a flat sapphire, sapphire crystal. So in certain lights, the, the dial does not appear to be sunburst, it can appear to be a very dark black. But with this one, because of the dome sapphire crystal, you cannot see the super darky black that I saw on the Pelagos 39. And you won't see that here with the uh, dome sapphire crystal and the, the dial from the Black Bay 41. You can see the sunburst every single time. Maybe it gets a little bit darker, but it's not as dark as it can get. And by the way, the bezel is amazing. It's a beautiful bezel that, you know, it just gives a nod to the vintage Rolex or Mariners. And for me, the feeling of this watch is right, but I don't know what it is about this watch that I didn't like, which didn't make me pull the trigger. And that's what I'm trying to, you know, process in my brain like why I didn't want to buy this watch and the thing is that it's very sober it is a monochrome watch it's a it's a, it actually is the same as the Rolex Submariner the Rolex Submariner is super sober you can see my video I don't know right here that I made uh, like a, a few weeks ago about the Rolex Submariner that it lacks of character this one is not as sober as the Rolex Submariner but it just gets very close to be sober because it's a monochrome watch. We are very accustomed from Tudor to make a watch that has colors on the watch, or colors on the dial or colors on the bezel. So we are accustomed to see a lot of gilt dials, gilt bezels, red triangles, silver markings, uh, red texts. So a lot of this and Let's not forget a lot of patina, or faux patina, may I say. And this doesn't have any. Now, I, I can say surely that this is a, a Tudor Submariner. This is a Tudor Submariner. And if you're looking for that one, for that kind of feeling, go for it. It's an incredible watch. It has a meta certified movement, which for the money, like Omega is in trouble. I, I, I can assure you that Omega is right now like trying to justify why their watches are better than Tudor. Tudor has a winner here for me. I'm not gonna buy it because it just reminds me a lot of why I sold my Rolex Submariner, but it is an incredible watch 
that if you want to just get one watch for your collection and that's it, or maybe sell a lot of watches that you have and just get one dive watch that can do anything, especially on the Jubilee bracelet, this is the one to go. Like seriously, it's an amazing watch. It's a beautiful watch. It's just a monochrome, no nonsense dive watch. And it has a meta chronometer movement. What else do you want from Tudor? Like, okay, maybe, maybe thinner watches, maybe this in 39, yes. But you have a lot of watches that are in 39, yes, they are not like this one. The closest is the Pelagos 39 or the Pelagos 42, but they are not as cool as this one. But yeah, guys, uh, if you want to see all the specs of this watch, just go to the website and see and read all the specs. I can name them to you. It's like 200 meters of water resistance. It's 13 point something uh, uh, thickness. So they reduce a lot the thickness from the uh, from the 14 somethings, almost 15 to 13, almost 12. Uh, that's good. It has a Metas certified movement. It is monochrome. It is 41 millimeters, which is, uh, I measured it. It's kind of like 40.5 millimeters, actually not 41. The, the bezel is 41. The case is 40. Uh, the dial is great and it has a somber style. It has white loom as expected with this watch. The Bezel is excellent. It's the same bezel as always, and it feels and sounds incredible. And the crown is just more reminiscent to the, you know, crowns of Tudor of the past or Rolex of the past or Rolex, may I say, Rolex right now. But it's it's a it's a beautiful Tudor. It's the best uh, that maybe you can see in a monochrome tone. Uh, but I'm actually waiting for the GMT, guys. The GMT, I think that is going to, you know, check my uh, all my boxes for a watch. It's a little bit thinner. It's smaller. It has gilt accents because I like some gilt accents. I like colors on the watches, uh, like this one. I have my Rolex OP36 in. I know it looks black, but it's, it is the green one. Uh, I don't know. You can't see that it's a green one, but it is a green. So, yeah, guys, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think about the Black Bay 41? Have you seen one in person? And if yes, tell me. And if not, you have to see one in person because it just, you can you can rely with what I'm saying right now if you have seen this watch in the metal. It's just it's just a Rolex or Mariner, but with Tudor and actually with a better design. Yeah, I'll wait for you in the comments down below. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to this channel. It really does help. And if you don't like to do that, don't worry about it. Thank you for watching anyways. And remember, guys, I'm Andy, and I'll be here spending time watching time.